to it. I believe you are fine and continuing with the assignments. In this video, I will start new chapter. Force. To understand this force, let us consider some examples. Maybe football. Carrying book, books, and so on. In our day to day life, we do different types of activities such as playing ball, carrying books, and so on. When you play football, you kick the ball. What we are actually doing, we are actually pushing the ball. And suppose when car is stuck. You apply force on it. What we do? We are pushing the car. Whenever we are traveling from one place to another, we carry our trolley bags. At that time, we pull the bag. Back. Back. So force is basically push or pull on an object. Push an object, it moves away from us. When you push an object, it moves away from us. For example, when you push a desk, desk moves away. When you try to push a chair, chair moves away from us. And pull, when you pull an object, it comes closer to us. For example, pulling a bag. It is a trolley, pulling a trolley. And next example it will be uh, opening the door, door and so on. Now you think you can make out in a day how many times you do push or pull. Force can also be defined as you can call it as a stretch. Straight when you pull a rubber band, it length get straight, uh, its length get increased, or we can say rubber band rubber band has been stretched. And excuse when you take a toothpaste from a tube, the shape of the tube changes. That is what we can say squeeze. Force you can define it as a stretch, a stretch or a squeeze. So we come to know force can be defined as a push, pull, stretch. And you can define the force in this way. You can define it as a push, pull, stretch, and squeeze. And we have seen the examples for each also. Now we will see types of force. Types of force. Force are basically divided into two groups, uh, into two types contact. Force, non contact force, contact force and non contact force. What are these things? Let's see contact force. Suppose if I have to lift, raise this duster, there has to be a contact between hand and a duster. You are applying, you are applying muscular force. For which I have to make sure there is a contact between this duster and my hand, then only I will be able to raise a duster. So, the muscular force is said to be a contact force, or you can say contact force acts when the object and the force are in direct contact with each other. For example, muscular force. Suppose you, you, if you have to open a door, there has to be contact between the force and the door. Then only the force acts. This type of this type of force is what we say contact force. Non-contact force, as the name says, non-contact. No contact is necessary. You can say this as force acting.
from a distance. Non-contact force is also called force acting from a distance. And the example is magnetic force. When you take magnet towards close to iron pins, you don't have to touch it. If you just bring close to iron pins, it will get attracted. So magnetic force is called as non-contact force which acts from a distance.